In today's video, we are going to discuss how APID controller works. In this, we will also know that how will you identify the error signal in PID controller or in any control system and what is the error and how to minimize it. Before this, you must know about what is PID controller. You will see this type of PID controller. It must have been mounted in some panel. And PID controller is also used by inbuilt in SCADA. And all the processes of your industry are automatically controlled. Like pressure, level, temperature, pH, flow, RPM, and other parameters. In this parameter controlling, the error is the most important. Let's understand this. To understand the error signal, you must understand the working of the PID controller. PID, meaning proportional integral derivative controller, is a type of feedback controller system. It maintains any process or system at the desired set point. The main aim of the PID controller is to minimize the error signal. Let's understand something about this error signal. Error signal is the difference between the desired set point and the actual value. The desired set point is set in the PID controller. And actual value is a signal measured by a sensor. This actual value is also called current value or process variable. Process variable is obtained from sensors and sensors are connected according to the connection diagram in the PID controller. To minimize the error signal, the output signal of the PID controller is sent to a control valve by opening or closing. Control valve maintains that parameter. Let's discuss. How does the PID controller reduce the error signal? Look friends, signal from sensors is sent to the PID controller. This signal is then compared with a predefined set point. Now, set point and process variable difference is calculated. Here is a formula you should remember. Error equals set point minus process variable. So, error is the difference between set point and process variable. To reduce this error signal to zero or to minimize it. The PID controller sends a signal to the control valve. Friends, what is the need to minimize the error? Let's discuss it. Look friends, when process variable reaches to set point. It means the parameter will maintain that desired set point. And this is the main aim of PID controller. So, it continuously reads error signals and keeps minimizing it. And the process keeps working in auto mode. It has two modes. One is auto mode, one is manual mode. By doing this in manual mode, you can send the output signal of your choice, but keep it in auto mode only because manual mode is used to give force signal. The PID controller is also tuned to send this output signal. For this, PID controllers. P means proportional, I means integral, and D means derivative actions are used. These values are set. Settings of these values is the tuning of PID controller. After properly tuned, PID controller continuously controls the process and parameters are maintained at set point or nearby the set point. So, PID controller has an important role in instrumentation that you cannot ignore. We will understand the meaning of all these terms. Let's discuss. First of all, we will see P for proportional term. So friends, the proportional term is proportional to the change in the present error. The set point is fixed. But the process value 
or process variable keeps on changing. So, the difference means error between them also keep on changing. Proportional term of PID controller is proportional to the present value of this error. Now, because this term is proportional to the error, so it is called a proportional term. So, friends, this is the reason why it is named proportional. P term is clear. Let's see I for integral. Before that, you need to know that what was missing in P so that I term had to be introduced. When we use only P term in PID controller, an offset is there. To understand this offset, you can see this graph. Like, see this. Offset means the process variable deviates from the set point. Deviate means to be different. So, offset is the error. One thing is very clear from here. That, when we use only P term in PID controller, then an error remains and the process variable does not reach the set point. Offset is also called steady state error. To keep the process variable at set point, I term is used. This integral term examines the process variable and the offset over the time. And by correcting the output, the value of the process variable is brought to the set point. You can also see this from this graph. So, the integral term, in a way, depends on the accumulation of past errors. Now because, in mathematics, integration is used for over-the-time calculation. Therefore, this term is called integral or integration term. Using the integral term, the steady state error becomes zero. So, I term is also clear. Now let's understand. D for derivative term, derivative term or derivative action. Monitors the rate at which the process variable is changing. At what rate it is changing? It means how fast the change is happening or how slowly the change is happening. Let me explain this further. As we have studied in mathematics, that is, dx over dt is the rate of change of x with respect to time. Means, with respect to time, at which rate x is changing, is known as derivative or differentiation. Here, it is the rate of change of error with respect to time. That's why it is called derivative term or derivative action. Let's make it more clear. To calculate the future behavior of the error signal, the PID controller computes the rate of change of error and accordingly updates the output. I hope you must have got clear the term from here. So this conclusion came out from here that proportional term depends on the present error. Integral term depends on past errors and derivative term predicts future behavior of error. I think it is clear to you. So that was our video. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, do like and share. Also, press the bell icon for more updates and uploads.